It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Welcome to our learning Chromebook series. Interesting things to do with your Chromebook. Let's go to the movies with Netflix or see our favorite Prime TV show. Advanced editing of your pictures with Snapseed or Adobe Lightroom. Unlimited long distance calling with your Google with Google's Duo or explore Magic Jack's new wireless option. Let's do some drawing with Squid or watch a TV show with my local cable provider. Bedtime is listening to my favorite podcast on Spotify. All this on your Chromebook. Let me show you how to do it. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior making videos to help you with your Chromebook. Huey Poplick and I have been doing this now for a couple of years and we have almost 24 videos out on learning Chromebooks. If you want to learn more about Chromebooks, please register at www tech for senior it's a free one hour seminar once a month on the fourth thursday so let's get started netflix is a streaming service that offers a wide variety of award-winning tv shows movies documentaries and more on thousands of internet connected devices you can watch as much as you want whenever you want without a single commercial there's always something new to discover and new TV shows and movies are added weekly. Watch anywhere, anytime. Sign in with your Netflix account to watch instantly on the web at netflix.com from your personal commuter, computer or Chromebook or actually any internet connected device. Today on your Chromebook, I'm going to show you how to download the Netflix app we're going to look at some movies I've been watching and actually you can download a movie onto your Chromebook for offline playing. Let's have a look and see how it goes. We're going to come along on our shelf and we'll come over to the left side to the launcher. We'll click this and now we're going to go to the Play Store. Let's click the Play Store where we're going to get the Netflix app. We're going to come up to the top to the search and we're going to search for Netflix. Here we see the Netflix uh, app. We are going to click install and it's going to verify that it is correct. And uh, we are going to install it. That was fast. Now I'm not going to open it. Uh, watch this. We're going to close this and I'm going to come down to the app on our Chromebook. Let's go to the launcher. And now remember in the launcher, you can just type the name of the app you're looking for and it'll find it which is right here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to pin it to the shelf because I'm going to watch lots of movies. I don't want to be finding this all the time. So now you'll see that on the shelf, it's pinned on our shelf at the bottom. As we come along here on the right, you'll see all the apps I have. And here is the Netflix app. Let's open the Netflix app and see where we go. It's going to, of course, uh, ask me to log in, which I will. And here's the number of profiles I have. I'm going to uh, log in under my profile. And we're going to talk about download and go because you can, of course, download uh, your, your uh, movies right onto your Chromebook and watch them offline. So we're going to do that. Let's hit OK. And uh, we're going to come available for download. So these are the uh, the movies that you uh, you can download directly onto your Chromebook. Uh, these are some of the ones. So let's let's go down to one of my favorite shows. It's a series is Kim's Convenience. That was a great series. Click this and we're going to download this onto our Chromebook. So let's uh, let's download this. We'll click the uh, downloads button here. And this is going to download right onto our Chromebook so we can watch this a little bit later. Look at the little clock as it goes around. You'll see the white dial as it uh, downloads will come down and um, this should be done. And now it's completed its download. My advice is that if you are planning to do this, you download it onto an SD card in your computer or a USB stick. Um, 
most Chromebooks don't have a lot of memory, so that's uh, important that you don't want to uh, use up all your memory. And here we're back at home page, and these are the uh, programs that I've been watching. Uh, if you haven't seen The Outlander, oh my gosh, that's probably the best show I've ever seen in my life. Currently, uh, I'm watching uh, Ozark, which is, uh, is great, and I can watch it on my laptop. Prime Video. Watch exclusive Amazon Originals, popular movies, TV shows, sports, and live events, all included with Prime. Members can watch even more by subscribing to premium and specialty channels. No cable is required. And yes, there you can play this on your Chromebook. With the Prime Video channels, members can subscribe to premium and specialty channels with no long-term contacts and no additional apps to download. Watch anywhere. Enjoy from the web or with Prime Video app on your phone, tablet, or Chromebook. You can have up to three devices on at any one time. Let's have a look to see how it works on your Chromebook. So this is uh, similar to Netflix. We're going to come down to the launcher again. We're going to go to the Play Store. Here we're going to look for Prime. And there is the Amazon Prime app, which we find quite quickly. And this is Amazon Prime Video. And watch us install it. Again, it's verified by the Play Project. And we'll install it and uh, show you what it does. It's now installed. Again, remember, we're not going to open this because I want to, uh, I'm going to watch lots of Amazon videos. So I want it to, on the shelf. So we're going to come down. We'll do a search for the app. Again, we, there's an Amazon Music app. So this is not the one we want. We want to find the Amazon um, app that we just downloaded. Here is the app. We're going to right click and, and um, we're going to, uh, it's right next to Netflix. We're going to right click and we're going to pin it to the shelf. And there we go. Let's open it up. And we'll start Prime Video. And it auto logs me in. And again, here is um, uh, the movies that I've been watching. And you'll, of course, you'll see Series 6 for The Outlander. Yay! So this is the, uh, you can see, of course, the movies. You can see TV shows. These are the TV shows you can watch. You can see the movies here as we scroll along the top. And even the kids, kids shows, which are there. All available on uh, Prime Video. We also have Stack TV and Acorn TV as subscription services. And you'll see some of the selections here that are available. Google Duo, a great app that I've been using for many years. Cross-platform, it works on Chromebooks, it works on Windows, Android, and iOS. Make one-to-one -one calls. Make free calls in Canada and the US without any long distance charges. Make one-to-one -one calls. Set up groups for your family and friends. Use Duo, Duo uses end-to-end -end encryption. Get the group together. Keep the fun times rolling with your weekly game nights over group calling. Available for 32 friends at a time and works on Android, iPhones, iPads, and Chromebooks. Google Duo's new family mode lets you doodle on video calls for everyone to see and surprise loved ones with fun masks and effects. Family mode also helps avoid accidental hangups and mutes by hiding the buttons while you play together. 
Brighten up someone's day by sending a note, voice, or video message with fun effects. Let them know what you're thinking of them. Pick it up and make a call. Video calls are free. From putting on a pair of virtual heart glasses to channeling your inner dinosaur, new AR effects let you express yourself. These fun new effects change based on your facial expression and move around on the screen. Capture special moments. Take a photo of your video call to capture any moment and share it automatically with, with anyone on the call. All your calls are kept private with end-to-end -end encryption. Google Duo is a must for your Chromebook and let me show you how to download it and install it on your machine. All right, we're in the Play Store. Let's go to Duo, D-U-O. This is Google's Duo. You'll see it uh, comes up. And it will be, uh, the verif it will verify it with the Verified Play Project and we will um, install this. Now, this gives the highest quality video calling app. It's, you can start group calls with up to 32 people and you can share video messages. So let's install this. Again, this is available on uh, multiple platforms. You can use this on Windows. You can use it on uh, Chrome OS, Android, or iOS. Available uh, across platform. Now we have it uh, installed. Let's open this. And here is Google Duo. It's opening uh, Duo. It's going to import your contact list and uh, uh, information from your Google account. I'll show you how this do it, how this goes. Allow Duo to take pictures and record video you'll, while using the app. Of course, you'll agree to that. Allow Duo to record audio, of course, and allow uh, Duo to access your contacts so it can get the phone numbers. So here I am, uh, of course, uh, recording this. And on the left-hand side uh, will be all my contacts, and it's easy to make a call uh, with this now, and you can use this, um, and it's free. Uh, it's all free. You can phone uh, anywhere in Canada or the United States for free. So it's a must on your Chromebook. Snapseed is a picture editing app that is available for Android and iOS. It is owned by Google and available to download on your Chromebook. The advantage in using it on a Chromebook is that it can be used on a full-size screen. Snapseed users can edit pictures using swiping gestures to select different effects and enhancements. Alternatively, users can opt for an automatic adjustment for color and contrast. Snapseed can save users editing history and redirect to any of the actions before. It can also create and save filter combinations by using the default filters and editing features. A list of special effects and filters including drama, grunge, vintage, center focus, and frames are all available. Users can import raw images as well for better quality edits. This is a popular app I've used for many years on my Chromebook. Let's have a look and see how this works. All right, we're in the Play Store. And we're going to look at Snapseed. And here is the uh, familiar logo. This is a very popular program. Uh, I have it installed. We're going to open it. And uh, let's uh, have a look here. Let's pick a picture. We're going to go to uh, an image and let's bring up an image. This is an example of the image you would be editing and all the features on the right hand side. If your Chromebook has a touch screen and you're able to use a pen, then Squid is a must. With Squid you can create beautiful notes at any zoom level and on any compatible device. Erase entire letters and words quickly with the stroke of an eraser. Move, resize, copy, or paste. Change color, thickness of strokes at any time. Squid is a must, and let me show you how to use it. All right, here we are back at the uh, Play Store. Let's type in Squid, S-Q-U-I-D. 
And here, of course, is the squid. I have it installed and uh, let's open it. Here's what it looks like when you open it. We'll add an image. And again, you can um, import from a note You can and you can export to a PDF. Here's the note and here's the default note. So when you use Squid, you'll be using it with a stylus uh, on a touch screen. It's now the end of the day and you're off to bed. What a great way to finally go to sleep is by listening to some great music with Spotify. Whether you listen to music or a podcast, all are available on Spotify, which is a free app that you can use on your Chromebook. Let me show you how it works. So here we are at the Play Store again, Spotify. We'll click this. And again, this is uh, music and podcast. Here we are with the Spotify logo and we're going to click install. Uh, the app installs well. We're just going to open it. And it opens in your, uh, in your Chromebook. This is an app through my cable provider that allows me to watch my cable services through my Chromebook wherever I am in the world. This is a great feature for people traveling on winter vacations. So the a cable provider is Shaw and I have Blue Curve TV, which uh, has added features to allow this to happen. So here we are, we're going to install the app. Uh, of course, I'm uh, going to um, log into my account and this is uh, bringing up my account is with all my movies. And here you have my account. You'll see at the uh, top, you'll see that I have CTV Morning Live. This was recorded this morning on May the 25th. These are just recorded. And on the right, this is the BBC, again recorded this morning. This is the news of last evening and the news at five and the news at six. And here you have the uh, recently added TV shows. These are some of the shows that our family has been watching. And then of course, if you come down, you'll see some of the, uh, some of the movies. I don't watch a lot of cable TV movies. Most of them are in Netflix or Prime. Again, these are uh, some of the children's shows, but those are, those are what is available uh, through, through my cable provider. And the great thing about it is I can watch these no matter where I am in the world, which is great on your Chromebook. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Please remember, if you want to be notified of new videos that we make, click the subscribe and the notification below. Having fun with your Chromebook, exploring new apps. Till we see you again, have a great day.